Today I'm going to show you what my average day looks like. So the ship I am currently on is a Japan made ball carrier with 3 deck cranes, 5 holds and was built year 2001. I usually wake up at 6 a.m. and at 7 a.m. I take my breakfast. This day it just so happened that we were passing near the Philippines and some folks were asking for food. At 7.30, I have to go to the bridge and have my temperature checked. At 7.45, I do my engine room round. This is where I check machineries if everything is working in order. At 8, we do our toolbox meeting inside the engine control room. A toolbox meeting is where we share, appoint jobs to everyone so we could work accordingly. For this day, my planned task is to replace the forward navigational lamp, repair galley cooking range, and test function of level sensors inside cargo holds. For my first task, since I will be working aloof, I asked the second engineer one person to be my assistant for safety reasons. After our toolbox meeting, we then went to the forward mast to replace the navigational lamp. A navigational light gives visible information on vessel's position, heading, and status. Navigational lights are also used in aircrafts. And here is my assistant slash cameraman for this job. After the lamp was replaced, I then went to prepare my tools for my second task. Also, if I ever leave the engine room during work hours, I have to write my location on where I will be working on. This will give the crew an idea on where to find me in case there is an emergency since the ship has only one electrician on board. On board we have 4 hot plates for cooking. The cook informed me a day ago that hot plate number 2 was not working. I then switch on hot plate number 1 and 2 and observe that there is no indication light for hot plate number 2. I open the fuse box below and check the fuses for hot plate number 2. Notice I use the voltmeter in my multimeter to check the condition of the fuses since I'm dealing with live 440 volts AC. 0 volts means closed and anything above 0 means open. One fuse reads 50 volts, so I suspect this is the problem. I went to the 440 volts panel and switched off the cooking range so I can safely take out the fuse. I also put some tag to remind anyone that someone is currently working on the tag breaker. After that, I went to check the voltage across the fuses just to make sure I switch off the right circuit breaker. I take out the suspected broken fuse. Then I performed continuity test on the fuse and found out that there's no continuity. It means that the fuse is broken. Then I went to the engine room and looked for the replacement fuse. Installed it, switch on the breaker, 
switch on the hot plate number two and it is now working and my job here is finished in the afternoon I then proceed to my last task which was to check the function of level sensors inside cargo holds in this task, I have to be in constant communication with the duty officer on bridge since the visual and audible alarm will be at the bridge. Also in the morning, I asked the bosun to slightly open hatch covers for the cargo holds to allow air flow. This task is physically demanding since sensors are located at the bottom of the five cargo holds. And these are the sensors recessed to the wall of the cargo hold in order not to be hit during loading. And speaking of hit, please hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy this content. In this test, I used rag soaked with seawater. At the end of work, I write down all the jobs I have accomplished to my daily work report. This is to be submitted to the company. Also, I have to update their spare parts inventory and requisition of all the spare parts I used during the day. And that is it. That is what my average day looks like. Hope you're having a good day and I will see you in the next video. In this task I have to be in constant communication with the Jyoti... My goodness.